Rats, nothing unites New York City quite like them. While we can all agree that their population is a problem that needs to be solved, there's some disparity about just how to do so. Producer Maggie Cole takes a look at where we are in the war against rats and revisits a woman who says she's so fed up she's leaving. Get about the garbage pails. We got to make these landlords and, 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 and the tenants and the tenants, like everybody got to be held accountable. Ruth McDaniels went viral in 2023 for her comments about the rats in her Harlem neighborhood. We've had rats the size of Crocs, just running up and down the street, like a Croc shoe, an average size eight, running up and down the street. But despite her viral fame, she has yet to see any improvement in the rat problem on her street. I'm not really doing data, but I do see increased rat holes in areas that there were none. So in my mind, they've expanded their territory. I'm council member Sean Abreu, and I represent District 7 in Northern Abreu is a member of what many refer to as the Rat Pack, a group of council members who work to pass bills to contain the fast-growing rat problem. All of, all of West Harlem, about 80% of my district, Mahan District 9, is part of the rat mitigation zone. The zones he's referring to are locations that the sanitation department have deemed the most rat infested in the whole city. This is based on data provided by 311 calls complaining about the rat problem. Citywide, we have seen a 60% reduction in the rat mitigation zone, but by partnering with Commissioner Tisch, we have seen a 68% reduction in rat sightings where the containerization project is taking place in West Harlem. My name is Chio Say. I'm a New York City Council member representing the 36th District, uh, which consists of the neighborhoods of Bedford, Stuyvesant, and Northern Crown Heights. You know, everyone will say nothing has changed, right? And I think that um, as long as you've seen a rat, um, you know, within a two week span, one week span, maybe even a month span of, of your life, you're going to still always believe that there's a rat problem, you know, within your community. I have cats. They are all night shoving themselves to try and look under the window because they're fighting in the garbage out there. I can hear them fighting in the garbage out there. And there's a lot of them. In, in my opinion, the trash is the single biggest source of the rats. Get that food waste out of the black bags, put it in containers. That is the best thing we can do in New York City to fight rats. And that's what Mayor Adams has us focused on at the Department of Sanitation. You know, I think he's actually done a lot when it's come to uh, rodent mitigation and, and, and sanitation um, improvements. Um, I don't think it's been happening fast enough. You know, where this admin did slip up is cutting that funding from some of these uh, nonprofit organizations that were providing additional sanitation services. Sanitation is something that we see. If you walk home from work, and you see that the trash is, is picked up, you notice the difference. Voters no, notice the difference, and it's really a quality of life issue. No one wants to live in a neighborhood where you have smelly trash out on the streets. So how are residents coping? And I, I'm, I'm going to Atlanta because I want a better quality of life. It's just disgusting here. And what does the city have to say to residents still dealing with rampant rat problems? Help is certainly on the way. I just hope that they, they hear this, right? I think that um, we've been doing a lot of this in our office with rat academy trainings, distributing rodent resistant garbage bins to neighbors, speaking about these solutions and, and hoping to, to convince people in terms of, you know, what the city is working on. And yes, it is taking long, but progress is being made. According to 311 data analyzed by CBS New York, citywide, rat sightings are down 13% from the year 2022 to 2023. But many residents still say they aren't seeing any difference. They're everywhere. I just see them all the time so much that I'm like, oh yeah, wildlife. And I mean, they're aggressive. Yeah, they're, they're becoming like ridiculously mutant and strong. Uh, no, they're, I see them, I still see them. Right, as long as we are continuing to throw out trash within those black garbage bags, we will still continue to see rats within the city. I could sit out here with a high pressure BB gun take those suckers out all day long. I just choose not to fight anymore. I just feel like the priorities are in the wrong place, but we knew that already. And that was producer Maggie Cole reporting.